In this video, we're going to look at how I went from this to this. Something that's been on my mind for a while is whenever I get comments on my paintings uh, saying you're making me hungry or I'm going to have to run out and get some Skittles. And this was never my intention with my paintings. I was not intending for you to desire sweets or desire candy, cupcakes, or any of the other wonderful desserts that I paint. For me, it's more about the luxury of these things. It's more about the opulence and the luscious colors, textures that you would get from these. Not like trying to encourage you to go and eat them. Since that's the overall response that I've been getting from these paintings, I decided that it was time to make a change because I don't eat candy, I don't eat cupcakes, I don't eat any of these desserts. I think they're pretty to look at and they evoke that childhood feeling of indulgence, but I don't really want to put them in my body. I thought to make this transition would be really cool if I did candy corn and then my next painting would be corn on the cob and I could even hang the two like right next to each other. Unfortunately... corn on the cob is out of season. Being unable to fulfill my original inspiration, I had to sit and think, figure out what could I do. So as I often do, I did some writing over breakfast and then I thought, hey, breakfast. I pretty much eat the same thing every day for breakfast, and it is pretty healthy. So I put together my basic ingredients for everyday breakfast. Steel cut oats, cinnamon, uh, fresh apples from a local orchard, and cashews or some other nut, almonds or something, but I had cashews that day. So now the fun part of putting together the still life. I had to pick through our apples. We have a bunch of different kinds of apples from the orchard. So I had to choose which ones would work best um, with the sizing because I had the size of the cinnamon jar to contend with. So I didn't want an apple that was much bigger than that to go from a very large object to a very small object would make it a little bit more difficult on such a small canvas. <laughs> I can't tell you how extremely lucky I was to have sunshine this morning. Oregon has been pretty much under a blanket of clouds for the last few weeks. I wanted to use the early morning sunshine because it comes in at such a low angle, especially up here in the higher latitudes. I had to get the still life set up quickly so the sun didn't move too much.
from here out, I will try to keep my still lives a little bit more on the healthy side. Next week, I'm going to be going to a workshop with uh, another oil painter, David Chiefitz from Seattle. So you guys will get to see the video of what I make during the workshop. Should be really fun. So come on back next Wednesday. Bye-bye.